Praise the Lord to my sisters and brothers. This is Prophet Otis McCarver Sr. representing the Church of God of Lifting, 1046 Bacontown Road, Midway, Georgia. On the previous broadcast, we was in St. John, the third chapter, and verse 16, talking about the love of God. We will continue this lesson. We will call it part two, the love of God. Hallelujah, the love of God. God is a good God, sisters and brothers. God is a good God. Hallelujah. We can't do nothing without Jesus. We can't do nothing without Jesus. So we will continue from St. John, the third chapter. I say, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. My sisters and brothers, don't we want to have everlasting life when that time shall come? We don't want to go into the lake of fire that can burn with fire and broke for forever. Let us love you one another in this land today as God has loved us, as Jesus came down and died on the cross to save us from our sin. We were deep down in sin, shed and wrapped in iniquity. But God so loved us. He want to give us another opportunity to get our house together. So we gonna continue with our lesson. On last week, let me on last broadcast, let them know Jesus. If you see someone naked, put clothes on their back. If they don't have a place to stay, give them a place to stay. If they are hungry, give them something to eat. That is our job. That is our duty to help the less fortunate who are not in a position like us, able to survive and have got more than we can, can use for ourselves. So let's help those who really need the help. If you see another man there, but he don't need no help, you don't need to help him, go for the help the poor that Jesus said. He said the poor will always be with us. Ah, the love of God, we will continue. Give the homeless a place to stay. That the love of God in Jesus. You see somebody out there, the homeless, sleeping out there outside the street, doing this cold night, rainy days. They don't have no place to go. It is our job, sisters and brothers, as their children of God, it's our job to bring them in off the street. Give them a place to stay out of the wet weather and out of the cold weather and out of the snowy weather. It is our job to do this. That's when we know we are proving that we are children of God when we are helping the less fortunate. There are not many people that are fortunate as you and I today, but it's your job and my job to help them get back up on their feet. It is our job to bring them out of the cold Bring them out of the rain and give them a place to stay. If we are qualified to do these things, let us do it. That shows forth that we are children of God. Give the thirsty a glass of water. That's the love of God in us. Someone asks you for a glass of water? Don't run that individual out of your face. You go in your kitchen, give them a glass of cool ice water. That brother is thirsty. If he didn't need the water, he won't ask you for a glass of water. But if a brother or sister come to your door, say, ma'am, please, sir, uh, may I have a glass of water? You go and give that brother a sister a glass of cool water to drink. Then we are fulfilling the love of Jesus, what he tells us to do. Love you one another, and I have friend love you. Hallelujah. So you see, God is love, nothing but love. I'm crying out today, there is no head in God, there is no head in Jesus, and there is no head in the Holy Ghost. If we got all this in us, there shall be no head in us. There shall be
be that love in us that Jesus, the Father, and the Holy Ghost express. We must have that same kind of love. Show forth compassion on our sisters and brothers who are less fortunate than you and I. Let's help them to get back up on their feet and, 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 and that they can strive and do what's in them is right in this land today. And, and your job and my job to help the less fortunate, my sisters and brothers. We got a job to do and a God to glorify in this land which we are living in today. Hallelujah. I'm saying today, it's time out for all this selfishness. People don't want to help no one no more. The love of God is waxing cold all over the world today, even in America, that got plenty. The love of God is waxing cold in individuals today. But I'm saying today, let us wake up. Let's get back on fire for Jesus. That Jesus love can come back in us like it once was. We are being blessed so greatly here in America. We are, we, we, we are, we are, we are, we are holding everything for ourselves. We don't want to reach out to help nobody else. That's not the love of Jesus. That hit. Everybody is part enough for themselves. Share your fortune, share your fortune with the less fortunate. That's what love is all about. Help those who are not in a position like you are today. Praise God. We need each other in this land today. We need to, to love one another and do good for one another. That Jesus can bless us more abundantly in this land today, my sisters and brothers. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Once we got Jesus in our life, we don't mind helping the less fortunate. We don't mind closing the naked. We don't mind giving the homeless a place to stay because we are in a position to do so. God got us in, in a position to do that. Hallelujah. Don't hold everything for yourself. Let some go out. Let some go out that more can come in. Let, let the steel, let some go out that more fresh can come in. That's, the, that's what God did. God saw that we were sinking deep in sin. Satan had us going the way he wanted us, him to, to lead us into all kinds of filthiness. But God's all no. I created the people in my likeness image. I can't let Satan have everybody. For God loved us, he sent forth his only begotten son to redeem us from the wages of sin. And we yet in the land acting a jackass. Acting a jackass. We need to wake up and act like the children of God and help one another in this land today and stop acting jackass and selfish all for yourself and don't want to help no one else. That's not the love of God. That's not the love of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost telling you, help that brother, your honor. Help that brother, your honor. Help that sister, your honor. Help that sister, your honor. They need you. They are not fortunate. They are not able to do for themselves right now like they ought to do. But you are able to help them. Give them a helping hand. Give them substantial help that they can get over the crisis that they are in. God is a good God. He concerned about us. I see I won't have time to finish this today, but we will continue this on the next broadcast. The love of God. If you got the love of God, we got to prove to ourselves that we got the love of God when we reach out to help the less fortunate. This is the good, this is the church of God of this thing, 1046, Baker Town Road, Midway, Georgia, 31. 32-0, and I see you on another broadcast with part three of this same lesson. God bless you until another broadcast.